So over here, you can see that I have a storyboard panel and this has a certain length. And if I were to click on new panel button right here, then another storyboard panel gets added up and it has its own length as you can see. And by default, you can see that it has one second of length right here. If you want to change around the default length, then you can go around over here on to edit in preferences and then over here in the project settings, you can see that the default panel and clip length is set to one second right now. So if I were to press two right here and press OK, I can go around and press the plus button. And now what happens is that whenever you make a new storyboard panel, you can see that is two seconds in length right here. And that is how you can change around the default panel length. And another thing what, uh, what you will actually do while you're creating storyboards is you won't uh, redraw everything um, every time. So you have this storyboard right here. So you might want to duplicate this out. So you can right click over here and click on duplicate panels right here, just like this. And what happens is another panel is created, duplicated right here. So I'm just going to go around and add in a, a few details right here, right click and duplicate out the panel right here. And once I go around over here, I can go around, add in a few more details in this panel, let's say, for example, and let's say this is how things are supposed to work. So you got this panel right here, you got this panel. So you want to make a few changes, then you do not need to draw out the entire thing as you can see right here. So you can see that now I have the same drawing right here and the panel this uh, plays from one to another. And that is how you can set out default panel length and then duplicate out the panels inside of Toon Boom Storyboard Pro. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.